Othello and Hidden Figures are two immensely significant texts that utilize the concept of the other to express the fundamental differences in society. Othello, written by Shakespeare in the Elizabethan era, accentuates the other to express complications of appearance versus reality in Venice and Cyprus. Whereas Theodore Melfi's Hidden Figures is set in Virginia in 1961, which at the time was a heavily segregated society. The text focuses on Catherine Goebel, Dorothy Vaughan, and Mary Jackson, three women who forgo racial segregation to achieve huge accomplishments for NASA. It is through these texts that I elaborate on the marginalization of minority groups that we can truly understand the narratives that shape our world. The utilization of the other, Shakespeare represents Iago's deception to portray the fundamental flaws of appearance versus reality in Elizabethan society. The color of Othello's skin emphasizes that he is different and considered inferior in quotes in the chain of being. The consistent use of more is a dominant motif in the play, which characterizes Othello to be dark skinned and therefore untrustworthy, immoral, and below society. However, this characterization juxtaposes Othello's true character, a valiant, who is far more fair than black according to the Duke of Venice. It is through the use of motif that Shakespeare exposes how society tends to characterize and judge people based on their physical appearances rather than their morals and values. As a result of these superficial values, Desdemona's fate, as fresh as Diane's visage, which is mythical illusion when the moon goddess is juxtaposed with Othello's begrimed and black face to highlight the deterioration of Desdemona's image in Othello's eyes. However, in reality, this is not the case as Shakespeare uses Iago's deception to mislead Othello into speculations that are far from their reality hence elaborating on his concerns on Elizabethan society. In conclusion, it is through the representation of Othello that Shakespeare emphasizes the other and how appearance versus reality causes questionable integrity regarding basic cultural practices. In the hidden figures, Melfi utilizes the othering of colored people to identify the status of predominant racial segregation in the 60s. You can walk 16 miles or sit in the back of the bus. The use of illusion of sitting in the back of the bus to the Rosa Parks incident in 1955 conveys to the reader the circumstances of the situation. And at first how they are separated and forced to sit on the back of the bus to give space to white men. The struggles of racial segregation are also heavily concentrated on Catherine Goebel who is othered by her colleagues. This is evidently seen through the racial segregation of basic necessities such as coffee. In this shot, the juxtaposing of the normal coffee pot with the colored coffee pot conveys a strong message to Catherine and the reader that she doesn't belong there due to the color of her skin. However, despite the immense racial segregation, Murphy portrays the deteriorating integrity of racial segregation through Al Harrison, Catherine's boss. The knocking down of these colored signs is an allegorical representation that Melfi applies to reveal how racial segregation is diminishing in the 60s. This further elaborates on how Melfi uses the representation of the other, in this case Al Harrison, whose views on segregation contrast from societies to explore the fundamental differences. It is through the concept of the other of Catherine Goebel and Al Harrison that Melfi accentuates how the other is related to the dominant group to achieve his purpose as a composer. In conclusion, the use of the other is heavily represented in Othello and Hidden Figures. In Othello, the audience could see how Othello is used to be shown as an other to highlight Shakespeare's concern of appearance versus reality, whereas in Hidden Figures, othering is evident with Catherine and Al Harrison to strongly portray the status of racial segregation in the 60s.